gonna do something a little bit different. Uh, it's not gonna be cast iron, anything. I'm going to smoke some cheese. So it's the uh, perfect weather for me. Uh, it's like 30, 35, 36 degrees, something like that. And uh, yeah, I love it. Uh, I'm the only one in my family I think it does. But uh, yeah, so it's perfect for keeping the temperature down while smoking the cheese. So, but I'm gonna smoke. I got some Gouda, pepper jack, sharp cheddar, and mild cheddar. So those are the ones I'm gonna be smoking today. Uh, I'm gonna use pecan wood. Um, that's my favorite wood to smoke with. Uh, I like to use a mixture of oak and pecan, but all I got right now is just straight pecan. So, but yeah, that's my plan for the day. So stay tuned. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll get a bunch of little pieces of wood, throw them in my chimney charcoal starter, and then I'll just start chopping off some little sections of the wood to uh, get the fire going, and then I'll show you how I control my temperature uh, whenever I get it going. All right. As you can probably see, got it going. So I'll let that really get going. And then uh, I'll go over here and I'm gonna start putting, getting the cheese sliced up and everything. Okay, uh, got my cheese all laid out here. These are just regular cheese from the cooler at the um, grocery store. This I got from the from the deli at the grocery store. This is Gouda, sharp cheddar, mild cheddar, and obviously pepper jack. So what I do is these, I'll cut these down the center like that. And then uh, cut them like that, kind of make them, I don't know, inch and a half by inch and a half cubes. So let's go ahead and get that going. Got a sharp knife here. She is. All right, so that's that. I got the toothpicks, and I'll put them in the the sharp cheddar because not everybody likes sharp cheddar. It'd be a nice surprise bite into that, thinking you were getting mild. So okay, there's that. I'm gonna go over here and uh, show y'all how to set up my fire. All right, so what I do here is I'll take my uh, ch charcoal starter and I'll take it and I'll lay it like that away from the barrel. And I'll go ahead and do this. I'll probably have my, my dampers pretty much all, all the way closed. Try to keep that temperature around 90 or below. So I'll let that go for just a little bit. And then uh, I won't put the cheese on there, then we should be good to go. Okay, you can see the smoke rolling. So now I'm gonna put the cheese on there. I got some grates, a little drying racks on there. Um, just because I don't wanna get all the grill stuff on there, so. I think I'm going to go ahead and put him on. So, I'm going to go in there for a... So that's that. Uh, usually about one, one and a half hours. Maybe sometimes two. Uh, then I'll pull them off and then show y'all how I uh, wrap them up and get the keep the smoky flavor in. I'll come back and check on them in just a little bit. Okay, so I had to go get a light. So y'all can probably see it's getting pretty dark. Nice little sunset back there, right there. It's pretty nice. So uh, you can probably see the smoke's rolling. Um, I'm 
sitting at about between 90 and 100. You can tell. You know, I can put my hand on it. And so, if I was smoking meat, obviously I wouldn't be able to do this. So, yeah, you can see. It's been about. Right close to 45 minutes. That's what it looks like. Another safe. If you're looking, you ain't cooking, but I'm not cooking this, I'm smoking it. So, but yeah, my very first attempt ever uh, was a disaster. At this point, all of this cheese had melted to the bottom because I came out and my temp was close to 300. So, I've learned a few tricks since then, so we'll probably give another 45 minutes and then uh, we'll take it off and wrap it up. So I kind of wanted to show y'all, you know, see I got my, I got it right there, so all I have to do is open the door, throw in some wood. Alright, so it's been probably about an hour and a half, so I'm going to go ahead and pull these. Hey, look pretty good. I'm going to take them out let them cool off a little bit. And then uh, wrap them up. There they are. Then I'll bring me back to show y'all how I wrap them up and then stick them in the refrigerator. I'll stick them in there for probably, well, until Thanksgiving, so a little over two weeks. So, I'll be back. Alright, it's uh, cooled down enough, I think. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start wrapping it up. I'll just show y'all probably the first couple, and then I'll, I'm going to put the video on high speed. So, here we go. individual one it's basically no real art to it just wrap them up tight Okay, you probably noticed they're two separate piles. I uh, told my boss I'd bring him some, so now next I'll take all of it like that, and I'll wrap it up in one big bundle. So get that to come in.
it until a little over two weeks from now, Thanksgiving. So, anyways, I'm gonna wrap this up, and then that's gonna be the end of my video. Well, that's gonna do it uh, for today. Um, yeah, just leave a comment if you like this video. Uh, maybe you want to give it a try sometime yourself. Uh, maybe you can leave me, you know, some pointers if, you know, I'm not quite doing something right. So, um, but yeah, that's that's the way I do it. Uh, yeah, it usually comes out pretty good. It's good on crackers or even just by itself. So, anyways, that's going to be it. And uh, y'all have a good day.